It's Nancy Crawford back with a few videos of some strategies, techniques, and processes that you can use with your encaustic painting. In today's little video, we're going to explore ways that you can add color to your encaustic pieces using watercolor paint. So because these videos are based actually on an art project, um, in this case, it's the Evermore Love and Gratitude project of 2015. I'm working here on an acid-free mat board for these pieces. Normally I work on wood panel, uh, but because these are being sent through the mail and a couple of them are being sent in the same packages and I was trying to keep the weight down, I was working on this mat board, which actually is a very nice surface to work on with in caustics. And when I do this with some of my other pieces, I actually glue this mat board down onto a wooden panel and then I can work with it. So here you can see I'm using watercolor, a very loose um, manner, even flicking it with the brush and so forth, just laying in some color tones. And then I would let this dry and work on top of it with encaustic medium. This is how I finished up that piece. I actually worked on top of the watercolor with some India ink, black India ink. Then I wrote on top of that the uh, same quote over and over again with white ink. And then I built up another several layers of encaustic medium and then finished the piece actually with a bit of pan pastel that I rubbed in to punch up those colors even further. So in this piece, as I carry on with the watercolors, I'm working with the watercolor paint in a slightly more opaque fashion. So the rather than working with a lot of water, I'm really saturating it here with the pigment. Again, working with those tones inspired by the fall. So ochres, umbers, siennas, and so forth. But the great thing is with your watercolors, of course, you can work with any kind of color scheme that strikes your fancy for the project that you're working on. You can also do your watercolor paintings on beautiful watercolor paper and then glue it down and attach it to panel and then work on top of that with your encaustic medium, which is really great because then you have some beautiful texture from the papers to work with as well. So as I finished this piece, again, I worked on top of the watercolor paint with some India ink. I wrote in some quotes that were part of the project, layered it with encaustic medium, and then punched up the final layer with pan pastels. So have fun with this. <music> 